Alright, today we are taking volumes of similar shapes again, continuation of where we stopped. But today we are focusing on cylinder and cone. Here we have um, a smaller cylinder Q and a bigger cylinder P. Now, I want you to get something clear in this video now. Scale factor for cylinder P to cylinder Q. Now, if you ask P to Q, it simply means that you have to have the bigger one, which is the Q. P above the smaller one which is the Q. Now, in the other video, we have it as the smaller ratio, the smaller shape over the world, bigger shape. Now, but in case they give you a directive that P to Q, it simply means that your P is over what? The Q. So we have ratio of their corresponding size. Now, scale factor now, this time is the bigger cylinder over the smaller cylinder simply because it said P towards cylinder what? Q. So I want you to get that point now. Now let's move on. So for this you already know what to do. H is the bigger cylinder for height of this bigger cylinder and smaller H for the smaller cylinder. So we have H 10 over 5, 10 over 5 and we have R 4 over 2. The same thing. Very easy. Reduce to lowest and gives us 2 over 1. Now, volume of ratio, uh, volume ratio, sorry, of these two cylinders, we have the bigger cylinder over the smaller cylinder. Now, if you do this, we have 5 times 4 squared times 10 over 5 times 2 squared times 5. Now, let me expand this. We have 5 times 4 times 4 times 10 over 2, 5 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now, this is 2 here, cancel this 2. Then I have 5 cancel this 2, pi cancel pi. This will now be 4 times 2, which gives us 8. Let me write it here for you. 4 times 2 over 1 gives us 8. So, which is back to 2 raised to power 3 over 1. Remember we said that the volume ratio is always the scale factor cube of it. Now, so that's why we have cube root of 8 as 2, which is our scale factor. So if you say 2 cube, we'll come back and give you 8 over 1. Now let's look at this last example. A cone of height 18 millimeters is cut by a plane, par a plane parallel to its base at a distance of 50 meters, millimeters from the base and a fostrum of the cone is formed. Calculate the volume of the original cone if the volume of the removed cone is 486 mm cube. If the original cone has a mass of 10 kg, calculate the mass of the fostrum. Now, the fostrum basically is the Alright, the fostrum of the cone is this part that is cut off and the truncated part is this upper part. Now, the entire cone itself is 18 millimeters tall, and you have to find the height of this cone that is formed here from the truncated part. Let me write that word here. Truncated. See the truncated part, and this one is the post room. Now, we have the height of this post room cone as 50 millimeters. We simply means that if you remove 50 from 80, it will give you 30 millimeters, which is the height of this truncated cone, which is now the scale factor becomes the height of the entire cone, which is this, over the smaller cone, which is 30. Now, which will give you 3, 8 over 3. If you reduce the lowest term, all these are gone. Now, remember that volume ratio or volume factor is the same thing as the scale factor raised to power what? 3. So if our scale factor is 8 over 3, so we have 8 over 3 cube. Now, let the volume of the original cone be V. Now we are looking for back to question A which talks about finding the volume of the original cone. Now let the original volume, the volume of the original cone be V cube. While the volume of the removed cone is 486 millimeters cube, 
Now, we have the volume of the original comb becomes V over volume of the removed comb, which is the um, truncated port cone. Now, we have 8 cube, which is equals to 8 cube over 3 cube. Now, if you cross multiply, you have 486 times 512, which is 8 times 8 times 8, your GS3 student, and 3 cube, which is 27. Divide everything gives you back 9216 millimeter cube. Now, if you put 9216 over 486, you will end up having 512 over 27, which will take you back to the scale factor cube. Now, the next thing is the mass of the original, which is 10 kilogram. Question B, you have to find the mass of the first room now, which is this place. <coughs> now, if the mass of the original cone is 10 kilograms, equate it with the scale factor, the, um, equate it with the volume factor, which is this. Now, it gives us 10 times this, which is 27, gives you this, and n times this, which is 512, gives you this. Now, divide both sides by 1 to 5, 1 to 512 gives you. 0.5273 kilograms. Now, if this part of the cone weighs 0.5273 kilograms and the entire cone itself is weighing 10 kilograms, it simply means that if I want to find the weight of the first group, I subtract it, this one from the entire weight, which is 10 kilograms minus 0.5273 kilograms, which gives you approximately 7, 9.47 kilograms. That is all for that. We have a similar question here for you to practice. I hope you follow the steps and you should be able to answer it. I remain your one and only friend, Mr. Kola. Stay safe.